Hello everyone. Happy New Year. I am excited to um, start this new year and also share some of the journals that I will be using um, for the rest of the year. So um, first off, I wanted to share the new version of my Unearthing Your Gifts Creativity Journal. This is last year's edition and I'm planning to share a video where I highlight some of my favorite pages. I used two different ones because I was using the large one at the beginning of the year and then I started using the smaller one uh, from May until December. So there will be a, a different video sharing, uh, kind of like a flip through of these two. <clears throat> and then um, I moved into the new one for this year. Let me see if I'm in the frame here. Um, so I already added a few things. I added the different dates for the full moons. Um, I've started to doodle on it. Um, wrote my letter. I still have to do the self-portrait. I started working on the no moon um, intentions. Today is actually the no moon. So I'm going to be writing out what my um, intentions to express my creativity this month will be. So I guess I can do like a, a, a brief flip through of this month. Um, this year's journal looks different from last year and I did a video comparing the two. So I can add that in the description as well. But we're in week, the second week of January. So the journal has space for you to write about what you're grateful for, uh, what you are hoping to um, nurture, how you're hoping to nurture your creativity, things that you're curious about. And then you can choose whatever you want to track here. I have a recommendation about keeping track of things that you're reading, listening to, watching and experiencing, which is what I used to do in the old journal. And it's what I did um, this week, last week, kind of. But this week I'm trying out using this box for ideas, keeping track of things I'm reading and listening to in this space and then a to-do list here. And then here I'm, I'm trying out maybe like a quote or a card of the day or a card of the week. So there's uh, the weekly check-ins and then, then at the end of the month there's room for me to do like a collage or more doodling. Uh, a way to do like a creative interpretation of the month and then um, some space for journaling and then uh, February starts so even though um, the monthly pages start with the new moon I've actually been starting on the first of the month and then I do allow the time from the third quarter moon to the new moon as a time to like settle into what my intentions for the next month will be so so far it's working out well um, but this is another journal that i will be using and the spiral bound version is sold out but you can order the paperback version from lulu so i will add a link for that um, it's a print on demand option <clears throat> um, this is a really old beat up box so maybe i'll just take the journal <laughs> This is my five-year Hobonichi um, journal, which I started in 2022. So I'm still uh, working my way through that. Um, there was a couple of months last year where I didn't really check in with this one. So I'm hoping to um, make more of an effort and actually, like, see, here in October I didn't write, um, to really come in and check in with this one. This is more like a personal five-year journal because I do have one that I share with my family so I'll write it's this one um, it has suffered this year so I added some tape to keep it together um, this one I write down things that we are doing as a family so this is something that I will share with my kids and I when we're in a particular date I'll read what we did two years ago and share with them that and this one is more like my own personal reflections that are not to be shared with other people so it's more personal so these are my two five-year ones that I'm continuing to use then 
I have uh, this planner <clears throat> that I will be using. This is the second time, second year that I'm using um, an undated planner that has this size. It's like the Hobonichi size, but it's not a Hobonichi. This one I got as a gift actually from my sister and they're like $10. Um, she got me two of them and they're $10 each. So compared to the $35 Hobonichi, this one is more affordable. Um, so I use this one for planning like appointments and days where I have to be in the office. Um, <clears throat> see, and I really enjoyed it last year. So that's why I am continuing to use it. Um, I just write down like things to do, where we're at uh, on a particular day. But I am hoping to use the monthly pages more because here I will write down like my list of things that I need to get done this month. Then I start adding this like housekeeping things that I would like to get done so that I can plop them in on the week pages. Um, so yeah, this one will go to work with me. And then um, this really big, it's an A4 planner and it is the Metaphysician's Daily Planner by Benabel Wen. I had been wanting this planner since I found out about it, maybe like five years ago, but I always talked myself out of buying it. And this year I was like, you know what, let me buy it because I've always been curious about it. So maybe it deserves its own um, separate video. I ordered the large, the largest one, uh, the A4, because Benabel said the writing in the smaller version was pretty tiny. So there's a lot of additional information in the back of the page, in the back of the planner that I wanted to be able to see clearly. So how I'm using this one, in addition to learning all the things here and reading the workbooks and guides that Benabel um, included with it, which I don't have up here, but I will be using. Um, I will be using it as a daily gratitude journal. So I just got it in this week and uh, I started doing what I usually do in another daily notebook here. So I write down what I'm grateful for and then I make a list of things that I need to do. And that's how I'm planning to use it. I will also be using it more for like my spiritual um, notes and observations. <clears throat> I want to go through these different questions that she has here um, and journal about them. I want to do my planning for um, career, financial health, family, personal, spiritual, and then do my card um, year and reflections. And there, there's also this two page spread for pulling a card for each month, uh, adding your notes and then coming back at the end of the month to reflect on how that card showed up in your life. So I'm hoping to do that this week. But overall, I'm really I'm happy that I'm able to actually try the planner. I love all of the extra information that Benabel includes, um, not just inside the planner, but like the additional workbooks that she um, provides. So it comes, it's personalized with your NATO chart and your solar return chart <clears throat> for the year. And she provided a guidebook to help me, to help whoever orders the journal or the planner work through your own birth chart and kind of make the analysis of what to expect for the year. So that's something that I'm really excited to do because um, astrology is something that I'm always very curious about and that has helped me to um, improve my life and just see life a little differently. So after a few months after using the planner and reading the um, um, guidebooks and the workbooks, I will come back and do a review and share how I'm getting along with that planner as well. So overall, I feel like my journal stack is manageable. Like this one, I will usually check in with it once a week and then at the beginning of the month. Then um, this is like the daily, 
this one I will check in with in the morning uh, to write down what happened the day before and then my creativity journal is just kind of when I'm like feeling like I want to doodle um, there's something that I want to track or if there's like something else that I'm starting to read notes that I want to take so this one is is kind of like mm, doesn't have like a set schedule for me to use but um, yeah so overall I feel happy right now with my journal stack and I will be sharing maybe like quarterly how I'm getting along with all of the journals because since they don't change month to month it's not as exciting um, but I do like to share what I'm using and I love looking at other people's journals as well so if you're into that stay tuned for more thank you <laughs>